Are you torn between investing in growth stocks or value stocks? It's time to break it down for you. Imagine standing at a crossroads. One path leads to the high-risk, high-reward world of growth stocks, the other to the steady and often undervalued realm of value stocks. It's not just about picking one over the other, but understanding what each path entails. So buckle up, we're about to embark on a journey to decode these two fundamental investment styles. Stay tuned, as we dive into the characteristics of growth stocks and value stocks. First, let's take a closer look at growth stocks. These are the mavericks of the stock market, the trailblazers that dare to grow at an above-average rate. Picture companies like Amazon or Tesla, constantly pushing the envelope, innovating, and expanding. They are the embodiment of the phrase high risk, high reward. Growth stocks are often characterized by their high price to earnings, or PE ratios, and high price to book, or PB values. This means that investors are willing to pay a premium for these stocks, betting on their future growth potential. They're the hot tickets, the ones that get investors excited with their promise of substantial returns. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Growth stocks are like riding a roller coaster, they can be volatile and their prices can fluctuate wildly. One day you might be on top of the world and the next you could be in a valley. This volatility is due to the inherent risks associated with these companies. They are often in highly competitive industries, making substantial investments in research and development, and may not have a consistent record of profitability. Moreover, growth companies typically do not pay dividends. Instead of distributing profits back to their shareholders, they reinvest this money back into the business. This could be for expanding their operations, investing in new technology, or funding more research and development. The goal here is to fuel future growth and hopefully generate even greater profits down the line. In essence, investing in growth stocks is like betting on the future. It's for those who have a high risk tolerance and are willing to wait for their investments to potentially pay off big. It's not for the faint-hearted, but for those who believe in the company's vision and are willing to stick with it through the ups and downs. So if you're not afraid of taking risks and are looking for high returns, growth stocks might be your game. Just remember, with great potential rewards come great risks. So strap in, hold tight, and get ready for a potentially thrilling ride on the growth stock roller coaster. Now let's shift gears and talk about value stocks. Value stocks represent companies that are currently undervalued by the market. This means they're trading below the price that financial analysts believe the stock is worth, based on various financial ratios or benchmarks. A classic example of a value stock would be a well-established company like Coca-Cola or Johnson & Johnson. These are companies that have stood the test of time and continue to deliver consistent results year after year. One key characteristic of value stocks is their stability. Unlike growth stocks, which can be quite volatile, Value stocks tend to be more stable and less subject to dramatic price swings. This stability can be particularly attractive to investors who prefer to play it safe and avoid the roller coaster ride of the stock market. Another appealing factor of value stocks is their potential for steady returns. While they might not offer the sky-high returns of some growth stocks, they do have the potential to deliver consistent steady returns over time. This can be a major draw for investors looking for a reliable income stream from their investments. Moreover, value stocks often pay dividends. This makes them particularly attractive to income-seeking investors. Dividends are essentially a portion of a company's earnings that is distributed to shareholders. So if you hold a value stock that pays dividends, you can look forward to receiving regular payments on top of any potential capital gains from the stock's price appreciation. In terms of financial metrics, value stocks generally have lower price to earnings, PE ratios and price to book PB values. This means they're often cheaper compared to growth stocks, making them a good choice for value conscious investors. In conclusion, value stocks can offer stability, steady returns and the opportunity to earn dividends. They're generally less risky compared to growth stocks and can provide a solid foundation for an investment portfolio. If you're someone who prefers stability and steady returns, value stocks could be your best bet. Now that we understand both growth stocks and value stocks, how do we choose? The answer to this question is as unique as you are. It all boils down to your personal investment goals and risk tolerance. Growth stocks, representing companies expected to grow at an above average rate, can be a thrilling ride. They are often the movers and shakers of the market, the tech giants and innovators leading the charge into uncharted territories. However, with the potential for high returns comes higher risk. 
These stocks can be more volatile and their performance often hinges on the company's ability to continually innovate and expand. If you're the adventurous type seeking long-term growth and have a high tolerance for risk, growth stocks could be your ticket. Then we have value stocks, the unsung heroes of the market. These are the companies currently undervalued by the market, often overlooked in favor of their flashier counterparts, but don't let their under-the-radar status fool you. Value stocks can offer stability and steady returns. They often pay dividends providing a reliable income stream. If your investment goal is more about preserving capital and generating income and you prefer a less risky route, value stocks might be your cup of tea. Yet, the beauty of investing lies in its flexibility. You're not confined to choosing one type of stock over the other. A well-diversified portfolio may well include a mix of both growth and value stocks. This balance allows you to tap into the exciting potential of growth stocks while enjoying the stability of value stocks. It's about finding the right blend that aligns with your financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. So, the next time you're faced with the growth versus value conundrum, remember, there's no one-size-fits-all answer. It's about understanding your own financial picture and making informed decisions that suit your needs and preferences. Remember, it's all about aligning your investment choices with your financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment horizon. We hope this comparison between growth stocks and value stocks has been helpful. Remember, the right investment for you depends on your personal financial goals and risk tolerance. So, whether it's the potential high returns of growth stocks or the steady dividends of value stocks, apply this knowledge to your own investment decisions. Ultimately, a balanced portfolio with a mix of both could be the key to financial success. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more investment tips and advice.